Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, we are going to carry out step one of creating big data solution on Azure. Basically, I'm going to create a data lake store and upload some data into it. And also I'm going to create two more resources. One is data factory and the second one is SQL database in preparation for the next lab. Okay. So first of all, let's create a data lake store using Azure portal. Here, first of all, I'm going to create resource group. And I'm going to create this in North Europe. And review and create and click on create. Okay, our resource group got created. And within this, I'm going to create data lake store. And when I type data lake store here, you might notice something different. Basically, you can see only data lake store generation one. So where is this data lake store generation two? Because data lake storage generation two is built on top of Azure blob storage, you will not be able to see here. So basically we need to create storage account. And while we are creating storage account, we can select hierarchical namespace of Azure data lake storage generation two. So let's click on storage account and click on create. And then here provide a name, Rudra data lake store and then come down here i'm going to leave the location as north europe performance as standard account kind i'm going to leave that as it is basically i'm going to leave all these settings as it is and click on advanced here you can able to specify whether you want to go for data lake storage generation 2 or not so i want to enable this so let's click on enable basically you are enabling hierarchical namespace on top of blob storage so let's click on create and click on create. Okay, this is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause this video for a few minutes and come back once this is successfully created. So now our resource has been successfully created. So let's go to resource. And if you come down here, you can see data lake storage file system. And you can see here also, click on it. Now you can't do anything here. The reason is it's not yet implemented within Azure portal in order to upload the data and all those stuff. For uploading the data into data like storage generation 2, you need to use Storage Explorer. So let's go to the Storage Explorer. And then let me sign in with my account. Let's verify. And now you can select the subscriptions from where you want to view the resources. So I'm going to untick this and apply. Here you can see the data lake storage that I have created and the block containers, there will be nothing in it. So let's create a container, which is I'm going to call it as images, let's say. and click on images, you can create a folder here. Personal. And then within that, you can upload a file. I don't have any images, so I'm going to upload PowerPoint and then click on OK. So now you can see the status of it. The transfer is in progress. Once it is completed, you should be able to view the file here. So just refresh it and you can view the file. So this is how you can use Storage Explorer in order to upload the data into Data Lake Storage. Unless you are exploring some stuff, it is very unlikely that you use Storage Explorer. You generally use either Data Factory or AZ Copy Tool or some other tool in order to upload the data programmatically most of the times. Okay. And in terms of properties, actions, it's very similar to blob storage basically. But only thing is the endpoint will differ. So you can see here instead of blob, you're getting data factory, DFS basically. Yeah. Can you notice this DFS? Okay. 
So this is how you can create data lake storage and also upload the data into data lake storage. Next thing I'm going to do is creation of two resources. One is SQL database. Another one is data factory because both we need for the next lab. So let me do that now itself. Click on create. And I'm going to name this as Rudra Data Factory. And select Analytics RG version 2. Location I'm going to select North Europe and click on create. And also I'm going to create SQL database. Basically in the next lab, I'm going to show you how to transfer the data from SQL database into Data Lake Store using Data Factory. I'm going to use sample because um, we are going to use an existing table in order to transfer the data. So that's the reason I'm using sample database. And then click on select. And then come down here. I'm going to select basic here and apply and finally click on create. So this is going to take some time in order to get this SQL database created. So that's it for this lab. In this lab, I have shown you how to create data lake store and upload data into data lake storage using storage explorer. And also we created two resources for the next lab. Next lab is going to be an interesting lab because I'm going to show you how to transfer the data from SQL server into data lake store using data factory. So if you have some time, Join me in the next lab.